Hey Paul, thanks for coming in this week. Good to catch up. Um, getting there now. Got, got getting some really good stuff done. And um, this is your original swing back in November. This was the first time um, me and you took a little bit of a look at, at your swing. You'd come off a not a great ball striking year. Um, you had some okay scores, but just didn't feel like you you played particularly well. And in particular, you were concerned about the distance that you hit the ball. So you felt for your size. And your ability, um, you're just not getting the, the the power that you that you felt you should get. Um, and, and for me, the the golf swing is is just way too vertical. Um, you'll see, obviously, that the, the shaft alignment here is is really vertical. Not really any wrist set. Um, the elbows and the forearms for me are a little bit out of whack. Um, and then in transition, as you know, this club gets really vertical. So for a golfer of your ability and your standard, that that's steep. Um, we've obviously got some 3D measurements as well. We know how much you hump the ball. Um, you have to, um, to obviously get this golf club into some kind of delivery position. So this is, this is unavoidable, how much you thrust toward the ball to try to shallow out the, the shaft and, and stand the shaft into a better, into a good alignment. But, but there's, there's a lot going on there, which is, which is really hurting your, your power. Um, obviously, I recommended you go and see a, a physical guy as well. So John's helping you to create some more speed, which, which is helping. Um, this is this week. I uh, love the look of the setup. You've taken a little bit of flex out of your knees. Um, it's changed the look of your upper body. John's been helping you with, with that as well, uh, just to free you up a little bit. Um, and then we've spoke about we've spoke about where your your right elbow is in the golf swing. We've spoken about your lead wrist angle in the golf swing. So trying to get the the lead wrist a little bit. Uh, flatter or more bowed um, rather than cupped. We've increased the length to the swing, so you can see you've you've let the club swing a little a little bit more. Um, and then we're we're trying to from there. We're trying to um, to to work on a shallowing action in transition. And you can see. There's a huge difference in where that shaft is in kind of early, early downswing, early transition. You'll see we're starting to really line this shaft up. Um, that's going to really help you to create speed and, and freedom um, in the in the swing. You'll also see there's not going to be as much thrusting in this action um, because. The shaft is, is more balanced, um, so you're not going to require as much thrusting toward the ball in this action. Golf club's coming in. Beautifully. For you to just freewheel through the ball. So um, some really, really good stuff. Paul, hope that's helped. Um, keep it going, mate. Keep, uh, keep in touch with John. Keep your physical work going. And uh, look forward to catching up soon. Cheers.